welcome to my channel. I'm so excited to finally be back on YouTube with this series called At Home with Melissa. In this series, I'm going to show you some interior decor tips and tricks to just elevate your standard of living at home. I'm so inspired by hotels, boutique hotels especially, and I kind of wanted to bring some of those elements and feelings back into my home. I'm going to be doing some coffee table styling, some tablescaping, and I'll also be showing you some tips and tricks to be doing in the kitchen, bedroom and bathroom to just make sure you have that hotel style living. If you're interested in luxury interiors and luxury living, this is the right channel for you, so continue watching. I'm back again and this is another episode of Elevated Living on At Home with Melissa and today I'll be focusing on the bathroom and the bedroom. The things I'm going to show you today can be implemented in your own personal bathroom and in guest bathrooms too. If you're super bougie you're going to absolutely love it because I personally love to do these things in my master suite and I like to do them for guests too because it leaves a good impression and the impression is everything. Right so let's get to it. So one thing that I really like to do is I like to have fluffy white hand towels for my guests. I like to put it on a little tray just so that people can see it quite elevated and they know to use it. I like to use white fluffy towels because I ain't ever trusted anybody that doesn't have white towels. I think you've got things to hide. Not being funny, I, I don't shoot the messenger. White towels, you always know that they're clean and to keep them fluffy, you can wash them with bicarbonate of soda or a little bit of white vinegar. That works really great too. Another thing I really love to do is to put cotton wool balls and cotton bars in glass containers. I just think it looks so clean and so chic and every time I go to a boutique hotel it's something that I definitely notice. This is something that looks both aesthetically pleasing and again it's functional and you know I love that. Another thing I like to do is keep fresh lavender in the bathroom. Lavender is one of the dried plants that I feel like has the most potency. And in the bathroom, it can get kind of stuffy. With showering and doing other things, it's not always the freshest place. But if you have a dried lavender plant in, you're definitely gonna notice the freshness. And to keep sustainable, if the smell does go, just drop a few lavender oil drops on it and it will remain fresh. I think by now you guys know me really well and you know my disdain for clutter. If I can get a tray for something, I absolutely will. And I think that if you have one bathroom especially, it's really good to have a tray to put your personal items on just so that it doesn't look all over the place and you look well put together. And in a guest bathroom, it's really nice to have soaps, maybe a small candle and some perfumes for your guests to freshen up. So now we are in the bedroom and I'm going to talk about some things that I like to do in the master bedroom and in the guest bedroom. I absolutely love hosting people at my house. You can stay over, you can eat and you can drink. Just don't forget where you live because you've got to go at some point. But when guests do come, I really like them to feel welcome. So there are a few things that I do to make them feel welcome. One of the things that I really like to have in my home is a comforter. I feel like comforters just add that luxurious feel to it. Usually in any other bed, you're just gonna have some bed sheets and that's just about it. But comforters really do add some layers and some character. So I always try to have a comforter. And you can wash it every now and then just to keep it fresh. Another thing that is a bit bougie and it's for my guests mainly, is I like to bring them a welcome tray. So on this tray, I like to put some essentials that they may not have brought. I mean, if we're having a glass of wine, a little bit of fun and they forget they can't drive home, they may not have their toothbrush or a sponge or anything. So I like to keep this tray ready to go. This is definitely a tray that I refill and reuse. Obviously not the toothbrush and the sponge, but I definitely reuse some of these items. So I'll have a body wash, I'll have body cream, I'll have a towel for their face. And I'll also have stuff like a candle and some matchsticks just so that they can light it and feel at home. Another thing that I like to have is I like to have a bathrobe and some slippers for my guests. Again, this is not something I'm trying to buy time and time again. I just get a bathrobe in an extra large size, that way hopefully it fits everybody. I also like to have some slippers too. I don't really like shoes in my house, it's part of the lifestyle. I don't want you to bring your outdoor energy inside my house. <laughs> I don't want you to bring your outdoor dirt inside my house. So I encourage people to take their shoes off and make them feel more welcome with some hotel style slippers. 